in geometric topology and differential topology, an n plus one dimensional cobordism W between n dimensional manifolds M and N is an H cobordism. The H stands for homotopy equivalence if the inclusion maps M left arrow curving right W and N left arrow curving right W Display style M hook right arrow W quad M box and quad N hook right arrow W are homotopy equivalences. The H cobordism theorem gives sufficient conditions for an H cobordism to be trivial, i.e., to be C isomorphic to the cylinder M times zero one. Here C refers to any of the categories of smooth, piecewise linear, or topological manifolds. The theorem was first proved by Stephen Smale for which he received the Fields Medal and is a fundamental result in the theory of high-dimensional manifolds. For a start, it almost immediately proves the generalized Poincaré conjecture. Topic. Background Before Smale proved this theorem, mathematicians became stuck while trying to understand manifolds of dimension 3 or 4, and assumed that the higher dimensional cases were even harder. The H. Cobordism theorem showed that simply connected manifolds of dimension at least 5 are much easier than those of dimension 3 or 4. The proof of the theorem depends on the Whitney trick of Hassler Whitney, which geometrically untangles homologically tangled spheres of complementary dimension in a manifold of dimension greater than 4. An informal reason why manifolds of dimension 3 or 4 are unusually hard is that the trick fails to work in lower dimensions, which have no room for untanglement. Topic. Precise statement of the H. Cobordism theorem Let n be at least 5 and let w be a compact n plus 1 dimensional H. Cobordism between m and n in the category C equals diff, place, or top such that w, m and n are simply connected, then w is C isomorphic to m times 0, 1. The isomorphism can be chosen to be the identity on m times 0. This means that the homotopy equivalence between m, w, and n is homotopic to AC isomorphism. Topic: <laughs> Lower dimensional versions. For n equals 4, the H cobordism theorem is true topologically, proved by Michael Friedman using a four-dimensional Whitney trick, but is false place and smoothly, as shown by Simon Donaldson. For n equals 3, the H cobordism theorem for smooth manifolds has not been proved, and due to the three-dimensional Poincaré conjecture, is equivalent to the hard open question of whether the four-sphere has non-standard smooth structures. For n equals 2, the H. Cobordism theorem is equivalent to the Poincaré conjecture stated by Poincaré in 1904 one of the millennium problems and was proved by Grigory Perelman in a series of three papers in 2002 and 2003, where he follows Richard S. Hamilton's program using Ritchie flow. For n equals 1, the H. Cobordism theorem is vacuously true, since there is no closed simply connected one-dimensional manifold. For n equals 0, the H. Cobordism theorem is trivially true, the interval is the only connected cobordism between connected zero manifolds. Equals Topic. A proof sketch equals a Morse function F W A B display style F W to A B induces a handle decomposition of W ie if there is a single critical point of index K in F minus 1 C C 
display style f caret minus one c c. Then the ascending cobordism w c display style w underscore c is obtained from w c display style w underscore c by attaching a k handle. The goal of the proof is to find a handle decomposition with no handles at all so that integrating the non-zero gradient vector field of F gives the desired diffeomorphism to the trivial cobordism. This is achieved through a series of techniques. 1. Handle rearrangement First, we want to rearrange all handles by order so that lower order handles are attached first. The question is thus when can we slide an i-handle off of a j-handle. This can be done by a radial isotopy so long as the i-attaching sphere and the j-belt sphere do not intersect. We thus want i minus 1 plus n minus j dim w minus 1 equals n minus 1 display style i1 plus nj leq dim partial w1 equals n1 which is equivalent to i j display style i leq j we then define the handle chain complex c Display style C underscore asterisk partial underscore asterisk by letting C K display style C underscore K be the free abelian group on the K handles and defining K C K C K minus one Display style partial underscore k c underscore k to c underscore k one by sending a k handle h alpha k display style h underscore alpha caret k to beta h alpha k h beta k minus 1 h beta k minus 1 display style sum underscore beta langle h underscore alpha caret k mid h underscore beta caret k1 wrangle h underscore beta caret k1 where h alpha k h Beta k minus one display style Langle h underscore alpha caret k mid h underscore beta caret k one wrangle is the intersection number of the k attaching sphere and the k minus one belt sphere. Two handle cancellation. Next, we want to cancel handles. The idea is that attaching a k handle h alpha k display style h underscore alpha caret k might create a hole that can be filled in by attaching a k plus one handle h beta k plus one display style h underscore beta caret k plus one this would imply that k plus 1 h beta k plus 1 equals plus or minus h alpha k Display style partial underscore k plus one h underscore beta caret k plus one equals pmh underscore alpha caret k, and so the alpha beta display style alpha beta 
entry in the matrix of k plus 1 display style partial underscore k plus 1 would be plus or minus 1 display style pm1 however when is this condition sufficient that is when can we geometrically cancel handles if this condition is true the answer lies in carefully analyzing when the manifold remains simply connected after removing the attaching and belt spheres in question, and finding an embedded disk using the Whitney trick. This analysis leads to the requirement that n must be at least 5. Moreover, during the proof one requires that the cobordism has number 0, 1, n, or n plus 1 handles which is obtained by the next technique. 3. Handle trading the idea of handle trading is to create a cancelling pair of k plus 1 and k plus 2 handles so that a given k handle cancels with the k plus 1 handle leaving behind the k plus 2 handle. To do this, consider the core of the k handle which is an element in pi k w m display style pi underscore k w m this group is trivial since W is an H cobordism. Thus, there is a disk D K plus one display style D caret K plus one, which we can fatten to a cancelling pair as desired, so long as we can embed this disk into the boundary of W. This embedding exists if dim W minus one equals n minus one two k plus one display style dim partial w one equals n one g e q two k plus one. Since we are assuming n is at least five, this means that k is either zero or one. Finally, by considering the negative of the given Morse function, minus f, we can turn the handle decomposition upside down and also remove the n and n plus 1 handles as desired. 4. Handle sliding Finally, we want to make sure that doing row and column operations on k partial underscore k corresponds to a geometric operation. Indeed, it isn't hard to show, best done by drawing a picture, that sliding a k handle h alpha k display style h underscore alpha caret k over another k handle h beta k display style h underscore beta caret k replaces h alpha k display style h underscore alpha caret k by h alpha k plus or minus h beta k display style h underscore alpha caret k pm h underscore beta caret k in the basis for c K display style c underscore k. The proof of the theorem now follows: the handle chain complex is exact since h w m z equals zero. Display style h underscore asterisk w m math b z equals zero. Thus, c K Coker K plus one I'm K plus one display style C underscore K Kong operator name Coker partial underscore K plus one O plus operator name I'm partial underscore K plus one since the C K Display style c underscore k are free. Then 
k display style partial underscore k which is an integer matrix restricts to an invertible morphism which can thus be diagonalized via elementary row operations handle sliding and must have only plus or minus 1 display style pm1 on the diagonal because it is invertible thus all handles are paired with a single other canceling handle yielding a decomposition with no handles topic the s cobordism theorem If the assumption that M and N are simply connected is dropped, H cobordisms need not be cylinders. The obstruction is exactly the whitehead torsion tau w, M of the inclusion M left arrow curving right W display style M hook right arrow W. Precisely, the S cobordism theorem the S stands for simple homotopy equivalence, proved independently by Barry Mazur, John Stallings, and Dennis Barden, states assumptions as above but where M and N need not be simply connected. An H cobordism is a cylinder if and only if whitehead torsion tau w, M vanishes, the torsion vanishes if and only if the inclusion M left arrow curving right W display style M hook right arrow W is not just a homotopy equivalence, but a simple homotopy equivalence. Note that one need not assume that the other inclusion N left arrow curving right W display style N hook right arrow W is also a simple homotopy equivalence that follows from the theorem. Categorically, H cobordisms form a groupoid. Then a finer statement of the S cobordism theorem is that the isomorphism classes of this groupoid up to C isomorphism of H cobordisms are torsors for the respective whitehead groups WH pi, where pi pi 1 m pi 1 w pi 1 n display style pi kong pi underscore 1 m kong pi underscore 1 w kong pi underscore 1 n topic see also semi s cobordism equals equals notes <laughs>